Hello my beautiful people, my name is Shayla and I'd like to welcome you to my little corner of the internet. If you're new here, I am a high school French teacher and if you're returning, I'd like to say welcome back. In today's miniature tutorial, I would like to show you exactly how you can go ahead and add timers onto your Google Slides presentation. If that is what you came here for, then let's move right into the video. So this is the slide that I want to include a timer on. So the very first step is to go to Google Chrome, um, the web store, and to add the extension that is called Slides Timer. Okay, so this extension allows you to be able to add a clock or a time display on your slide. You can count up or as well as count down. We've added the extension and now we move on to our next step. We're going to go to the text box. We're going to select it and we want to add the text box to our presentation. Okay, so I'm going to put my text box here. You're going to look for the greater than and the less than sign on the keyboard. So we're going to start with less than, okay? So we're going to tap the less than sign twice. Then we're going to put the time that we want. For me, my time is two minutes, two colon zero zero. Then we're going to decide whether we want the time to count up or to count down. So if you want the sign to count up, you're going to put a plus sign after the zero. And if you want my time to count down, we're gonna use a minus sign. For me, we're counting down. So I'm gonna put minus and then use the greater than sign. I wanna increase my size and then I wanna change the font color, okay? So I'm gonna increase the font to 30 and then I wanna change my color to white. I'm going to expand the text box so that the timer fits in one area and then I'm going to just drag it and position it where I want it done. So of course, nothing is happening with the timer because we're not in present mode. So whenever we get into the present mode, we'll see that the timer starts to count down almost immediately. So here I'm giving the students a visual presentation of the books and then I want them to choose a book that they're going to read. Okay, and I tell them you have two minutes to do so. Once the timer is done, I move on to the next slide. But before we move on to the second way to add a timer to your slide, I want to show you that you can also add the current time, your teaching time to your slides as well. You know, just kind of for you, a check and balance for you as well as your students. Okay, so we're going to copy this. All right, so we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it. And then I want to drag it over to the opposite side. I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower. So I'm going to remove the number time. Okay, so we're gonna remove it and then we're just going to type in the word time. So once we've typed in the word time, we're done. And then we go into the present mode. Et voila. You have the current time as well as your countdown timer, which is awesome, guys. Okay? And so now we're going to move into the second way that you can go ahead and add a timer to your um, slides presentation. So the kiddos have selected their books, okay? And I say, okay, kiddos, we have a five minute reading time just for us, okay? So you've selected the book, now I want you to read it. Five minutes just reading, and then wherever you stop, that's fine. So I want to display a bigger timer, okay? So your second way to display another timer into your Google Slides um, presentation is to go to Insert. So you wanna select Insert, then you wanna to go to Video. And then we're going to type in Timer, okay? We wanna search YouTube for a timer video. We can get 24 hours, whatever time countdown that you're looking for you can find it right here on YouTube so then we're going to select the five minute timer because that's the time I want to give them and then we're gonna select the select button 
and so now it's going to bring the timer video onto our slide so you can go ahead and resize it so that it fits your um, page and once you're done you see the format options is here so let's say if I wanted this um, timer to start as soon as I get to my second page I would select the autoplay when presenting button so that my timer begins as soon as I begin um, my page is changed now let's say if this had some music with it and I don't like the music you can go ahead and mute the audio okay so those are some of the options that you have when starting to play a video from YouTube which is embedded directly from YouTube onto your Google Slides presentation okay guys so those are the two ways that we can embed timers into our Google Slides presentation and um, if you found this video helpful go ahead and share this with your teacher friends don't forget to like leave a comment down below if there are some other timers that you use and any other ways that you possibly use them and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so as yet and um, thank you for watching the video and I hope that you enjoy your day continue to be safe love